हेलो नमस्कार एंड वेरी गुड लक टू आर एवरी स्टूडेंट अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू आर चैनल विद्यार्थी प्रो लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म माई नेम इज श्वेता मालती एंड इन टूडे सेशन विल डिस्कस अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेमोरी रिकॉल्ड क्वेश्चन ऑफ फोर्थ यूनिट ऑफ बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स दैट इज डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ इनकम एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट एज वी ऑलरेडी कवर्ड थ्री यूनिट्स ऑफ बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स जिनका नाम है चैप्टर नंबर वन introduction in microeconomics chapter number 2 consumer behavior and demand and chapter number 3 is national income and related aggregates basic concepts and measurement and ye selected memory recalled questions aapke exams like cuet cacpt bcom mcom bba mba net jrf uphsc uppsc and upsc and mainly economics domain ke subjects ke liye बहुत ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट है सो आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सप्लाई क्रिएट्स इट्स ओन डिमांड दिस स्टेटमेंट वॉज गिवन बाई विच इकोनॉमिस्ट ऑप्शन नंबर वन केन्स ऑप्शन नंबर टू पी गो ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री जे बी से एंड ऑप्शन नंबर फोर फादर ऑफ एड इकोनॉमिक्स ने नोन एज एडम स्मिथ इन हिंदी द क्वेश्चन सेज आपूर्ति अपनी मांग पैदा करती है यह बयान किन अर्थशास्त्री द्वारा दिया गया था द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी जे बी से बिकॉज सप्लाई क्रिएट इट्स ओन डिमांड इज द फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ सेज लॉ ये सेज लॉ का फॉर्मुलेशन है एंड सेज लॉ एज्यूम्स दैट प्रोडक्शन क्रिएट्स मार्केट डिमांड फॉर गुड्स देयर फॉर सप्लाई क्रिएट्स इट्स ओन डिमांड एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड केन्स लॉ स्टेट्स दैट डिमांड क्रिएट्स इट्स ओन सप्लाई टू therefore supply creates its own demand this statement is was given by the economist jb se and the correct answer is option number c our next question is which of the following is a reason for surplus demand option number 1 increase in public expenditure option number 2 increase in money supply option number 3 fall in taxes and option number 4 all of the above any guesses The basic Hindi meaning of this question is अधिशेष मांग का एक कारण निम्नलिखित में से कौन सा है या क्या है And the correct answer for this question is option number D, all of the above. ये सारे ही reasons हैं surplus demand के Because a surplus dem a surplus demand occurs when the consumer's willingness to pay for a product is greater than its market price. Our next question is which is the measure of correcting excess demand? ऑप्शन नंबर वन डेफिसिट फाइनेंसिंग ऑप्शन नंबर टू रिडक्शन इन टैक्सेस ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री इंक्रीज इन पब्लिक एक्सपेंडिचर एंड ऑप्शन नंबर फोर इज इंक्रीज इन पब्लिक डेट एंड द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी इंक्रीज इन पब्लिक डेट बिकॉज जो फिजिकल पॉलिसी मेजर करती है दैट कैन बी यूज टू रिड्यूस एक्सेस डिमांड इन एन इकोनॉमी वो वो एक्सेस डिमांड को रिड्यूस करने के लिए यूज की जा सकती है विच इंक्लूड्स अ कट इन गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर इंक्रीज इन पब्लिक डेट इंक्रीज इन टैक्सेस एक्सेट्रा आई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एग्रीगेट डिमांड एट अब फुल एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड एग्रीगेट डिमांड एट फुल एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज नोन एज वॉट ऑप्शन नंबर वन इन्फ्लेशनरी गैप ऑप्शन नंबर टू डिफ्लेशनरी गैप ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री बोथ ए एंड बी और ऑप्शन नंबर फोर नन ऑफ द अब एंड द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए इन्फ्लेशनरी गैप बिकॉज एन इन्फ्लेशनरी गैप इज अ मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक कॉन्सेप्ट ये एक मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक कॉन्सेप्ट है दैट जो कि मेजर करता है द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द करेंट लेवल ऑफ रियल जी डी पी एंड द जी डी पी दैट वुड एग्जिस्ट इफ एन इकोनॉमी वॉज ऑपरेटिंग फुल एम्प्लॉयमेंट so this is the inflationary gap our next question is deflationary gap shows the measurement of which of the following options that means apsfiti antaral kiske maap ko darshata hai and the options are deficit demand option number 2 surplus demand option number 3 full employment and option number 4 none of these and the correct answer for this question is option number a that is deficit demand because deflationary gap is the amount by which actual aggregate demand falls short of aggregate supply at level of full employment it is called a deflationary gap because it leads to a fall in a price level and deflationary gap causes deflation and decreases wages and price level in the economy that shows the de uh, deflationary gap and that measures the deflationary gap and next question is in keynesian economics the state of deficit demand is called as option number 1 full employment equilibrium option number 2 under full employment equilibrium and option number c both a and b and option number d none of the above 
and the correct answer for this question is option number b under full employment equilibrium because below or under full employment equilibrium is a macroeconomic term used to describe a situation where an economy's short run legal gross domestic product is lower than that same economy's long run potential real gdp here gdp means gross domestic product our next question is from theory of employment that also a very important for our cuet exams and the question is the theory of employment multiplier was propounded by which of the following economist option number 1 keynes option number 2 kehan and option number 3 hansen and option number 4 marshall in hindi the question says rozgar gudank ka siddhant kiske dwara pratipadit kiya gaya tha and the correct answer for this question is option number b kehan because jo concept of employment multiplier tha वो इंट्रोड्यूस किया था आर एफ केहन ने इन 1931 में और इसको एज अ रेशियो बिटवीन द टोटल इंक्रीज इन एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड प्राइमरी एम्प्लॉयमेंट भी कहा जाता है एंड द फॉर्मूला फॉर द सोल्यूशन फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द थ्योरी ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट मल्टीप्लायर इज के वन इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एन अपॉन डेल्टा एन वन वेयर के वन स्टैंड फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट मल्टीप्लायर एंड डेल्टा एन वन फॉर द इंक्रीज इन टोटल एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड डेल्टा एन वन फॉर द इंक्रीज इन प्राइमरी एम्प्लॉयमेंट आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो रिलेटेड विद दिस थ्यूरी एंड द क्वेश्चन इज केंजियन मल्टीप्लायर इस्टेब्लिश अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन इज द करेक्ट एंड ऑप्शन आर ऑप्शन नंबर वन इज इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड इनकम के बीच में वो रिलेशनशिप स्टैब्लिश करता है या ऑप्शन नंबर टू इनकम और कंजम्पन के बीच में या ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री सेविंग एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट सॉरी सेविंग एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड ऑप्शन नंबर फोर इज नन ऑफ द अब एंड द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड इनकम बिकॉज जैसे कि हमने पिछले स्लाइड्स में भी देखा था कि जो थ्यूरी ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट मल्टीप्लायर था वो क्वान्टिटेटिव रिलेशनशिप स्टैब्लिश करता है बिटवीन एन इनिशियल इंक्रीमेंट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड द रिजल्टिंग इंक्रीज इन द एग्रीगेट इनकम देयर फॉर ऑप्शन नंबर ए इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड इनकम इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेज कट मेंटेन्स फुल एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द इकोनॉमी हु पुट फॉरवर्ड दिस व्यू दैट मीन्स वेतन में कटौती से अर्थव्यवस्था में पूर्ण रोजगार बना रहता है यह दृष्टिकोण किसने रखा था ऑप्शन नंबर ऑप्शन नंबर वन इज पीगो ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज केन्स एंड ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज मार्शल और ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज नन ऑफ द अब and the correct answer for this question is option number a pigo because wage cut maintains full employment in the economy a pay cut is a reduction in an employee's salary pay cuts are often made to reduce layoffs while saving the company money during the difficult economic period a pay cut is might be temporary or a permanent and may or may not come with a reduction in responsibilities and all these concepts is given by the, our economist pigo so therefore option number a is the correct answer our next question is what is the main con component of aggregate demand is in hindi uh, kul maang ka mukhya ghatak hai and options are investment option number 2 individual consumption and option number 3 is public consumption and option number 4 is all of the above and the correct answer for this question is option number d all of the above ye sare hi main components of aggregate demand ke aggregate demand basically is the sum of four components number 1 is consumption number 2 is investment number 3 is government spending and number 4 is net export the next question is mpc is equal to mps is equal to what option number 1 is 3 option number 2 is 2 option number 3 is 1 and option number 4 is 0 and the correct answer for this question is option number c 1 therefore mpc is equal to mps is equal to 1 and the question here is what is mpc and what is mps so mpc means marginal propensity to consume and mps means marginal propensity to save so marginal propensity to consume refers to the amount of raise in income that a person spends as opposed to saves this makes it a complement to mps added together they should always equal 1 our next question is the aggregate demand in an economy is falling what can be the possible reasons for this 
अर्थव्यवस्था के कुल मांग गिर रही है इसके संभावित कारण क्या हो सकते हैं एंड द ऑप्शन आर एज फॉलोज ऑप्शन नंबर वन इज़ फॉल इन गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर ऑप्शन नंबर टू इज फॉल इन इम्पोर्ट्स इम्पोर्ट्स कम हो रहे हैं और ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री इज फॉल इन कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर और ऑप्शन नंबर फोर इज ऑल ऑफ द एब एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी ऑल ऑफ द एब बिकॉज द एग्रीगेट डिमांड कर लेफ्ट की ओर शिफ्ट कर जाता है वेन टोटल कंज्यूमर स्पेंडिंग डिक्लाइंस एंड द कंज्यूमर माइट स्पेंड लेस बिकॉज कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग इज राइजिंग और बिकॉज गवर्नमेंट टैक्सेज हैव इंक्रीज देर फोर और द ऑल द फोर थ्री ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट एंड ऑप्शन नंबर फोर इज ऑल ऑफ द अब इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन हमारा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स टाइप का क्वेश्चन है द क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन इज द करेक्ट फॉर द That is that can be defined as addition to the stock of physical capital. And the options are option number one, investment; option number two, consumption; option number three, savings; and option number four, all of the above. Okay, so the correct answer is option number one, investment. Physical capital as a subset refers to the durable non-financial assets used in the process of producing goods and services. It is also known as real capital, capital stock, capital asset. Examples of physical capital are n number of examples. For example, machinery, tools, buildings, and so on. so let's move to our further slides and the next our next question is also the filling that blank type question and from which of the following options are suitable to refer to a situation where aggregate demand is equals to the aggregate supply and resources are not fully employed in an economy in an economy and the options are option number 1 is full employment equilibrium option number 2 is over full employment equilibrium and option number 3 is under full employment equilibrium and option number 4 is none of the above and the correct answer for this question is option number c under full employment equilibrium because under under employment equilibrium refers to a situation when equilibrium is attained that is aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply below full employment level or when resources are not fully employed and our next question is from which of the following four option which one is the most suitable answer or option for the space in the statement and the statement is which one is a uh, dash is the change in the consumption per unit and change in income and the options are option number 1 average propensity to consume option number 2 sorry option number 2 is marginal propensity to save option number 3 is marginal propensity to consume and option number 4 is average propensity to save and the correct answer for this question is option number c marginal propensity to consume because the marginal propensity to consume is equal to delta c upon delta y where डेल्टा सी जो है वो शो करता है चेंज इन कंजम्पन को और डेल्टा वाई जो शो करता है वो चेंज इन इनकम को आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द सिंपलेस्ट कंजम्पन फंक्शन अज्यूम्स वॉट ऑप्शन नंबर वन कंजम्पन चेंजेस एट अ कॉन्स्टेंट रेट एज इनकम चेंजेस ऑप्शन नंबर टू कंजम्पन चेंजेस फास्टर विद मोर इनकम ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री कंजम्पन डज नॉट चेंज विद इनकम and option number 4 is consumption changes with more supply and the correct answer for this question is option number a consumption changes at a constant rate as income changes consumption ekdam constantly income ke jitna change hota rehta hai because the classic consumption function suggests ki jo consumer spend kar raha hai wo wholly determined by income and changes in income the most basic consumption function assumes that consumption changes at the same rate as income our next question is problem of unemployment is the problem of what option number 1 is voluntary unemployment option number 2 is involuntary unemployment sorry involuntary employment option number 3 is involuntary unemployment and option number 4 is voluntary employment and the correct answer is option number c involuntary unemployment and in in the slide involuntary unemployment means anaxic berozgari and in anaxic berozgari occurs when a person is unemployment despite being willing to work at the prevailing wage it is distinguished from voluntary unemployment where a person refuses to work but because their re reservation wage is higher than the prevailing wage and when a person is unemployed despite being willing to work at a prevailing wage is the involuntary unemployment so therefore option number c 
involuntary unemployment is the correct answer for this question our next question is full employment implies absence of what option number 1 ab unemployment voluntary option number 2 unemployment involuntary option number 3 involuntary unemployment and option number 4 is none of the above and the options are option number 1 is unemployment voluntary option number 2 is unemployment involuntary and option number 3 is involuntary unemployment and option number 4 is none of the above and the correct answer for this question is option number C involuntary unemployment because involuntary unemployment refers to the unemployment in which all those people all those people who are willing and able to work at existing wage rate to existing wage rate pay uh, willing to uh, willing hai, willingness be hai unke andar, or ability to work be hai, to not uh, do not get work when there is involuntary unemployment in the economy there is a shortage in aggregate demand from le the level required to maintain a full employment equilibrium therefore full employment implies the absence of involuntary unemployment that means option number c is the correct answer for this question our next question is ab aggregate supply and what are always equal which one of the following option is correct option number one is national income option number two is aggregate demand option number three is ma marginal propensity to save and option number four is average propensity to consume and the correct answer for this question is option number a national income aggregate supply and national income are always equal and our next question is which of the following is employees factors for the production of final goods and the options are option number one is land option number two is labor option number three is capital and option number four is all of the above and the correct answer for the question for this question is uh, option number two D that is all of the above because factors of production are the inputs needed for the creation of a goods or services these includes land labor entrepreneurship and capital therefore option number D is all of the above is the correct answer our next question is what is the shape of the Keynesian aggregate supply before the level of full employment is attained that means poon rozgar ka star prapt karne se pehle keynesian aggregate supply ka aakar kya hai option number one is perfectly inelastic option number two is perfectly elastic option number three is unitary elastic and option number four is more elastic and the correct answer for this question is perfectly elastic the perfectly elastic shape of the keynesian as curve AS means aggregate supply shows the existence of excess capacity allowing real GDP GDP means gross domestic product to expand through increase in aggregate demand without there being inflation our next question is a consumption function describes the relation between what and what option number one is consumption and income option number two demand or supply may option number three savings or income may and option number four consumption or savings may and the correct answer for this question is option number A, consumption or income may. Because the consumption function or Keynesian consumption function is an economic formula that represents the functional relationship between total consumption and gross national income. Our next question is increasing unemployment and inflation is a situation of option number one hyperinflation option number two stag inflation option number three deflation option number four galloping inflation and the correct answer for this question is option number two that is stagflation stagflation ek aisa economic event hai in which the inflation rate is high and the economic growth rate is low and unemployment remains steadily high therefore increasing unemployment and inflation is a situation of stagflation and hyperinflation ek aise situation hai jahan par prices of all goods and services rises uncontrollably over a defined period of time ek, in other words hyperinflation mein ye bhi keh sakte hain ki extremely rapid inflation or when the rate of inflation grows at more than 50% a month or deflation ek aise situation hai ki when consumer and asset prices decreases over a time and purchasing power increase ho jati hai 
एंड द लास्ट ऑप्शन दैट इज गैलोपिंग इन्फ्लेशन उसका मतलब होता है उसको हम जंपिंग इन्फ्लेशन भी कहते हैं इज द वन दैट डेवलप्स एट अ रैपिड पेस डुअल और ट्रिपल डिजिटल एनुअल रेट्स पर हैप्स ओनली फॉर अ ब्रीफ पीरियड आई होप you got all the basic understanding of these four terms and still if you have any doubt please mention it in your in the comment section below our next question is which of the following is true for classical theory of employment and the options are option number 1 is state of full employment in the economy option number 2 is no possibility of over or under production in the economy option number 3 is both a and b and option number 4 is none of the above and the correct answer for this question is option number c both a and above sorry a and b is true for classical theory of employment because classical principle believes that the full employment is found without inflation in capitalist economy being the flexibility in labor prices the automatic power of economics system able to keep continuing the situation of full employment and has ability to production ability of production on that level Our next question is increase in aggregate demand of equilibrium level of income and employment causes in increase in what option number 1 employment option number 2 production option number 3 income and option number 4 is all of these and the correct answer for this question is option number 4 all of these because according to keynes equilibrium level of employment or income in the short run is determined by the level of effective demand the higher the level of effective demand is greater what would be the level of income and employment and vice versa our next question is with which component of monetary policy central bank tries to attain economic stability in the country and the options are first is supply of money option number 2 is interest rate option number 3 is availability of money and option number 4 is all of the above and the correct answer for this question is option number d all of the above because the monetary policy employs tools used by the central bankers to keep a nation's economy stable while limiting inflation and unemployment expansionary monetary policy stimulates a receding economy and contradic sorry and contractionary monetary policy slows down an inflationary economy and our next question is the relation between consumption and savings are what option number 1 is inverse relationship option number 2 is direct relationship option number 3 is inverse and direct both and option number d is neither inverse relationship or nor direct relationship and the correct answer is option number a inverse relationship y is equal to c plus s where y is equal to y stands for disposable income c stands for consumption and s stands for savings Our next question is a consumption function describes the relationship between which one of the following option option number 1 consumption or saving option number 2 demand and supply option number 3 consumption and income and option number 4 is saving and income and the correct answer for this question is option number c that is save consumption and income because the consumption function is an economic formula jo ki measure karta hai relationship between income and employment sorry income and total consumption of goods and services in the economy therefore option number c consumption and income is the correct answer for this question our next question is aggregate output is determined solely by the level of aggregate demand this is known as what option number 1 effective supply principle option number 2 law of demand option number 3 effective demand principle and option number 4 law of equilibrium demand and the correct answer for this question is option number c effective demand principle because the effective principle of demand repudiates says law of market that supply creates its own demand and that full employment equilibrium is a normal situation in the economy this principle points out that under employment equilibrium is a normal situation and full employment equilibrium is accidental situation this is all about today's session thank you so much everyone for your time and attention and stay tuned for the next video that is the unit of fifth unit of business economics thank you bye bye if there is any issue or query in any unit from the business subject business economics 
please mention your doubts queries and suggestion for the next video in the comment section below don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel thank you so much